Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my t Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Ready? Ready? All right, so the UFC is back at the O2 Arena here in London, England. The adult beverages are flowing. And we're going to feed off this crowd tonight, as usual, here in the UK. You, you know, a lot of times you sit next to the octagon, and because we wear these headphones, you can barely hear. But when we come to London, headphones or not, you are going to know that these they're raucous, and they're ready to put on a show. They're ready to also cheer hard for the English fighters. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Very nice leg kick there by Choi. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Go. 
body kick now by the Korean Super Bowl. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. the turtle in that kick. Back and forth we go. Wild swing there. Ooh, Superman punch lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression of right. his opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Timely defense there, huge block for him. And he landed the right hand there. Working out of that southpaw stance. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Nice loop of punch. Just out of range with that left hook. So there. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Goes to the body there. And he switches his stance yet again. Another leg kick lands flush, and the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick over and over again. Get close, fight from the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Alright, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. If you I will. mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, he lands another shot.
right to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good punch land. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing is throwing right from the jab, too. And look at him whip his hip into that kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Choi. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Choi. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, connects with another uppercut. So that's been the weapon of choice, and he went back to it there and lands. Over and over again, he has thrown that punch, and it's because he feels comfortable there. He does not feel like his opponent can return anything because he's popping his head up every time he lands that nice uppercut. Beautiful strike. Continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Just misses with the jab there. Ooh, head kick lands and hurt. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice punch, man. 15 seconds. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. All right, that's the end of round number two. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round.
cover. Shake it off. That round doesn't matter. We're going to move forward this round and really put the pressure on this guy. Let's take him out of his element. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous one. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Blocks the shots. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, what a punch. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing, overwhelming him with different attacks. Big and big. He changes the angle. Finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. He blocks the punch. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. He's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Great punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's got to go chase that finish down now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big knee to the body. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Short. that shin. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he him. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice right hand, John. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he can. Gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. 
That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to be hurt very badly. That was lightning fast, that right hand. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. You keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. That last round's over. He took his best shots. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight. tonight and he landed it again there if his opponent does not change something he will continue to throw the strike until he makes them stop doing it. they continue to exchange <laughs> it's messed up really bad there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Plus right hand is true. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, he might be out. Under two minutes to go. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Unable to connect there. Checks the light kick. Big Huge kick elbow there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Just misses with that one. Under a minute to go. 
lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in great flow right now. He's throwing these punches. This combination really dictates the face of Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land this Oh, punch. huge elbow! All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in, and if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot, he got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Fifth and final round. Oh, big shot, man. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh. That's over. Oh. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Straight punch land. Look at him. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, that diving punch lands. Oh, he got him hurt bad. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Oh! Oh, he tasted that knockout line! He tasted that knockout line! Unbelievable! What a fight! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight, near perfect execution, and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, four seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.